Several families in different parts of our city have recently had some close calls with gunfire aimed at their homes and cars, and police are hoping you can help. One of the people almost hit by a stray bullet talked with our crime beat reporter Steve Jefferson about that real nightmare of waking up to gunfire hitting her home. One of the homes hit by that surprise gunfire is here in the Butler Tarkington neighborhood, and they've seen their share of violence. They're looking forward to improvements like this park on the way. Either way, victims in all the neighborhoods say, put the guns down. I heard actually two shots. Pow, pow. Gloria Henderson showed Eyewitness News the multiple bullet holes in her house. She's lived in Butler, Tarkington eight years and has never been the target of violence. Police recovered bullets from the front porch and one inside her house that ricocheted, landing in her shoe. Families in other parts of the city are dealing with bullets fired into their homes, like here on Arlington Court. Someone also shot up a car here, too, parked out front. Police are also investigating gunfire into this Ruckle and 30th Street home that left a bullet hole in the front door. Gloria Henderson looks forward to Metro officers walking in neighborhoods as part of the new beat patrols. I look forward to it. I, I love the presence of the police around. I really does. It makes me feel a little safe that someone is watching over me besides God. And God was with me that morning because my bedroom is right there. You know, so I thank Jesus that he controlled that bullet for me. Police are looking for answers to all of the shootings, including the one here in Butler, Tarkington. If you can help, you can call Crime Stoppers anonymously. That telephone number is 262-TIPS. I'm Steve Jefferson. Back to you in the studio.